Hey guys, it's Josiah here. I just want to do a quick video uh, to explain the timelines indicator, um, which is just a really simple indicator that allows uh, traders to um, plot times on their charts that matter to them and their trading system. And it's highly customizable um, and pretty much can fit whatever use that you can find for it. Um, one trader I talked to simply wanted it set it up as I have it here, uh, where it uh, just plots every 20 minutes throughout the day. You have a line to uh, remind you uh, of what time it is. And um, there's uh, tons of different ways that you can do this, but uh, you can uh, choose your own times times that matter to you. I know a lot of traders uh, follow certain reversal times during the day um, and uh, other traders will shift what strategy they're using at certain times of the day so they might try um, you know strictly opening drive or momentum type of plays in the early morning and then you know uh, come 10 o'clock or 10 30 they might shift their strategy to more trend following or pullbacks and that kind of thing. Uh, and then, you know, maybe in the afternoon they want to switch up to afternoon continuation plays or uh, afternoon reversals, that type of thing. So, um, you know, you can, you can set up the timelines and customize them to however uh, you need them to be, whatever suits your particular trading system. Um, you can choose the individual times here just by typing in, you know, the 1040, you don't have to put, you don't put the uh, colon or anything, no separators between the hours and minutes. Uh, you just type in the, the digits for the time, uh, specify which times you want the bars to appear at, and if you want a particular bar to disappear altogether, you just put a zero in it and it will uh, disappear. Um, so, let me show couple of these here so that one disappears here um, and then further you can change the individual labels for each of those times so I'm on central time I live in Nashville and uh, so you know the market of course is on Eastern time so uh, I can put the labels here in uh, in central time to uh, you know kind of help out with that confusion a little bit and so but you can pretty much put anything you want here you can you know scroll to you know 11 o'clock and put you know lunch break or something like that uh, you can literally just do whatever you want with it and uh, you know just put little reminders for yourself throughout the day um, you know tell yourself you know if you, if you have a certain block during the day I know certain traders don't trade over the lunch hour uh, so you can you know, put a reminder in there for yourself to uh, stop trading at a certain time that you've uh, decided in your own trading plan and in your own system. So uh, those are some of the ways you can customize it. Another uh, couple of things that you can do, uh, you can hide all the labels. Um, you can also make it so that um, it shows on multiple days, not just uh, today's chart, but also the days prior on your charts. Um, so, showing you how that would look. So now it's not only showing on today's bar, this is Friday, uh, but it's also showing on uh, Thursday as well. Uh, but some uh, certain traders don't like it to uh, appear on prior days, uh, so they go ahead and turn that off. So set it today only and those will disappear and uh, the last thing that you can do is change the stroke of the lines so you can make it kind of you know customize the look of it and change it to whatever you know suits your fancy that way or looks good on your charts and you can also change the colors to whatever color you want so that, those are some of the ways you can customize it and you have labels that you can customize you have the colors you have the stroke uh, of the lines and uh, of course you can change the times themselves as well to whatever 
uh, times that you um, want to track. You don't have to have this many on a chart. You could have just three lines on a chart or however many you wanted just by putting enough zeros in here to, to, to delete uh, whichever ones you didn't want. And uh, so I just kind of wanted to run through that real quick and show you how it works. Um, you know, like I said, there's a thousand different possibilities as far as how you can use that. And everybody, everybody's going to have a different thing that they're interested in using it for. Uh, but that kind of explains it and um, shows you what all you can do with it uh, as just kind of a demonstration there for you. So if you have any questions, let us know. And uh, check us out on the website at the link below. And we appreciate uh, you watching.